game. It got awfully close on Nuke. Let's see if they can pull their socks up. Australis, this is their home map. This is the map that they chose more often than not. And this is a map where they're hoping to get back into their winning ways. Set themselves up with a direct B execute. Smokes in the air into a four-man stack. This is hefty. Device give him some, something to work with. Brokey certainly does. In combination with Rain, it's working out wonderfully. Carrigan extinguish and reposition. It's Device on the warpath. Overlooked, frozen. Taps the head of Bro. You get that bomb back if Device can. He certainly could have. At this point, it may be oh. too little, too late. Robs is hunting. Yabby's head. Oh, it's perfect. Popped. And Device, an impossible task. He's already done more than expected with the double. But they have the bomb. There's no reason for them to take an engagement here. Unwinnable clutch for Device, isn't it? Would have to also be the ace. Yeah, no. And it was all off of that tap onto Bro. Frozen just being overlooked. Now Karakin knows where Device is. His position is noted. Trying to bait them out. He's going to do everything in his power. Don't forget, a bomb plant is essentially a victory, regardless of how the round goes down. I think in the bigger context as well, this is going to be another pistol for FaZe uh, against Astralis. Now you return to the series they had in the group stage. Astralis won all of the pistol rounds and the conversions. And FaZe is getting both CT pistols and denying both bomb plants is a massive boon. It takes a huge weapon out of the arsenal for Astralis to stay competitive early. And not just pistols, right? Clutches uh, in their last head-to-head. -head. You said four? Five to one. Five to one, damn. So, yeah, if you're, if, if you're winning all the pistols and winning all the clutches, I think mean, Device was aware of that We're in the interview. We're uh, also dominant as far as opening jewels went. So they had them covered in all of the stat lines. But this was a four-player B stack, so this is uh, FaZe with some homework. It's going to be just one flash for Astralis to contend in a full block round. Device having to do the U2 again. Just making sure he's got the lineup just right. Flash is over. Carrigan was safe from it. He might collect a lovely sequence here. Just racks him up. No one going down. Rain holds on just about. Be happy with that one. So what is the tone that Astralis are going to set on the first gun round? They didn't have issues doing aggressive mid plays when we covered it off in the group stage. They were able to do a donut smoke, a red smoke. They were able to biff their way out middle. Those type of plays, I, I would say, are essentially 50-50s. There's three SMGs on the other side of the server. Oh, talking to mid. They've thrown out the extinguished smoke. Whether or not they use it remains to be seen. Oh, Actually, no, it's not extinguished. It's just out mid. They'll push through it. I don't think that's landed as desired. It definitely was meant to keep these mid players focused and has done regardless, but the response time of Rops, he's rotated towards CT spawn. Oh, Rops. Oh, lovely dink, but he hasn't finished him off. He does find Stair. Good stabilization of the aim. Now, his next fight's a big one. Stown's going to clear it, but Rops just completely disrupts. Oh, just getting the bomb down. He's gone now, frozen with the flames. 1 HP, 1v5, not going to happen. Essentially flawless. A great defense of the A bomb site. He was at CT and alone. How has he managed to find that so much impact? There's no noise B lane. They have full mid control. Right, that smoke, like I said, I don't think that's landed as intended. A bit skew if so they know that nobody's contending towards middle. And then when it's awfully quiet everywhere else on the map, you are going to respond to this. The dink initially onto Bro, the course correct onto Stair, and then the follow up onto Stown in Temple. It's a thing of beauty. The bomb went down, it will enable Astralis to get themselves some lighter pistol investments, but this is exactly what you'd hope to see if you're a FaZe fan, and there's plenty of those here in Chengdu. That's the mid lurk smoke. Heichi to harass, lands in the center of two. Trying it again. Let's see if we can get the same result out of Robs. He's got a lot of confidence to hold such a long-range angle. CT smoke, but they're ahead of it. Good strafe. You can see how little of a chance he gets. Brokey charges in, puts his head right in the vice. 
Dare slams it in shot. Bomb will be going down here. Look how fast fight. Carrigan is on this. They're still just directing the boost. I don't think anyone's going to consider this. It's not even crossed their mind. And now Carrigan can put his bullets into theirs. It's a double. Stair finds a rifle. This is still grounds for an Astralis conversion here. You've got Kev. You've got a rifle on Stair. It's planted well. He can disrupt the defuse. He's worried about it already. Bomb about half gone now. Another smoke and the kit on Ross. Elevated over the smoke. If you go too far, you're in trouble. A fake stare. He's still doing damage here. Rops is low. Awkward now. Defuse coming in. Frozen holding it. And Frozen pulls it across the line in time. Content with that one. Had to swat them away multiple occasions. Harassment, pressure, the bomb ticking away. But FaZe stand tall. They do not drop the round. Brokey getting a little bit overzealous with that swing, wanted to be ahead of the play. He got flatlined, but Carrigan's flank for the double that causes so much strife. Makes the retake a possibility. And Rain, what a pivot into the second. <laughs> That's a thing of beauty. Yeah, nice up Good work for the replay. We got to see that one. Stunning work. Okay, here we go. Guns out. Sun's out. And and flex on him. Pushing. And that's not gone to plan. He's been so good from the long range middle. angle. This is an interesting smoke from Carrigan to peek around it, but Bro's already beheaded him. Looks like Astralis might be getting there first. Bro's just playing in the elbow fade smoke in middle right now. He, he won't be able to find Stair, who's actually gone back to T spawn. Interesting. So I wonder if they play to contain, if they get some kills, they give it a go. Stair's already trying to hunt. And considering the damage they were able to find, this is going to be very interesting. Device has been hurt. He will lose the AWP. Stair is between them. And with the way Device was running, if you're frozen, you think something's a little bit fishy. Yeah. Well, sleeping with the fishes is Stair now. More damage done. Two bodies in the dirt. Three to survive from FaZe. I want to talk about something interesting with the way that uh, FaZe have been opening up these rounds. Carrigan's been middle in most of them. Brokey's been over towards B. So it's been Carrigan, Frozen, and Rops holding middle, and then Rops tending to A immediately. In that round, he just started A with the aggression. This was the opener. Great shot from Sound. Helped enable them in towards that side. But Brokey over towards B, and Rain still playing K. So right now, the CT defense very mid centric. Like a movie. You can see a lot, almost every seat filled for today's entertainment. Good way to spend your Saturday evening. I've actually brought these double ops through. It's a missed CT elbow smoke, hard B. Very hard B, yeah, Brokey. Molly nails it, gets away as well. Clearing the smoke, no one's going to be exposed. It's Bro with the bomb, considering a plan. Two of them in cave. Brokey forced into Jag by the Molotov. Oh, swap into his nades. Device caught out. Sure, the bomb's down, but you've got five members of FaZe Clan. On the, the box. retake. Boxed in, indeed. Carrigan spots another. That's down. He'll contribute. Bro spotting this AWP. He's got YouTube. He doesn't want to put all his nades. Oh, no one's looking. Oh, Bro will get two. A third is crazy. Oh. Bro can come on. Clutch. Outrageous from <laughs> Gets them unstuck. A huge disadvantage, and it's Bro, new addition in the Astralis jersey with a heroic multi. No one's checking, no one's looking. Little oh, Bro, no more. What a correction into the final. Massive one on four. Not a spectator <laughs> in this one. That's some impact right there. Crazy. Actually crazy. There was five members of FaZe on the retake. We were saying they're boxed in. It's Bro just shreds them. I wonder if the CT defense changes now because they went with that same setup again, didn't they? Brokey getting caught off towards Cave. Still found that opening pick over towards B. That should have been FaZe's round every day of the week. Yeah, they know that. We know that. It's just Bro who seemed to not get the memo. Yeah, most definitely impact player. Will they nail the smoke this time? One more to a standard hold. Rops A, frozen mid. There's the extinguish, it lands. Yeah, that applies so much pressure to the mid defense. They've got to go towards A. Rops big box, he's tried aggression, he 
Nice try, passive, and the big box down. It's Bro's round, he's got the opener. Stair catching the rotation of Rain, wasn't ready for that position. Brokey's in the smoke. This can go wrong in so many different ways. Bomb's already down. Brokey, you're gonna give up the AWP here. Carrigan's nowhere to be seen. What are you planning on doing? No scope, dead after one. Okay, Astralis, they are definitely back after a 4-0 start from FaZe. Astralis, they have found their footing. Three consecutive. That bro round may be a bit of a statement piece in this T half for the Danes. We'll see how far they're able to run with this. While these rounds have been accrued, the loss bonus is also building 2,400 into the bank balance. It's not enough for FaZe to get a full buy. Frozen and Carrigan both just shy of being able to drop silence down fours, so likely to see just some pistol upgrades. But Bro closes down rounds and opens up this one. I'm st I still can't quite believe that. I mean, from the outside looking in, it seems their game plan is to abuse drops. I mean, why are we hitting A so much? This has been A-centric. They have definitely been applying a lot of pressure. And the thing is, if the idea was to soften up the defense, so hey, that they were having to start more players towards A, they already have been. Yeah. So they've been able to get this defense looking as they'd hope. Oh, on the uh, clear, Stair just gets caught. That's a nice mix up, Frozen. Quick aggression with only the, one of the two rifles, but Device's Orb is gonna be quick to the draw. This time b Sight is the name of the game. Oh, Rain. Forced into the fight by the flame. Do want to deal with in cave. Frozen's M4, loose. Oh, if you spam, that's gonna wake up Yabby. Thank you. Down goes the rifle. I mean, yeah, Rops will he'll, he'll recover one. Yeah, that's the AK from Stair that's now been picked up and likely retained. I think so. Brokey's just on a mission to find one of his own, but Yabby's bodyguarding nicely. Whoa. Heard those steps, so I know an individual was up towards ledge. Darting towards spawn his device with the AWP, but he's on his own. He can't go any further than this. The only way he gets a kill is if Rops oversteps the mark. And saying that about Mr. Cool seems extremely unlikely. A donation of a 5-7 for Brokey. At least if they come his way, he's got something to fight with. That was the eco around the saved guns. We're all tied up. Can FaZe stop the streak of Astralis? Necessary one back as Carrigan trying to stay active with his saved rifle just gives one over to device. There we go again. Rain Carrigan B broke his AWP towards A, Rops throws the middle. This is much more standard that mid extinguish from spawn. Stair trying to be as jarring as possible, and there you have it a missed elbow smoke. Oh, plays around there, smoke to perfection. How has he done that? So comfy. I mean, the crosshair placement as well, there was no adjustment needed. That's a nice nade onto Stair, but his double kill, it will have uh, echoes. It will have reverberations, goes for a jiggle, loses his head, does rain. Job done, mission accomplished. Broke, he's got to save. And this is the type of round, if I'm Astralis, I'm definitely calling for the hunt. B's clear, the bomb yet to be planted, bro still over towards middle. You can start to put out this wide net, see if you can clear the investment of phase. The streak from four to five. This is the type of round where it is actually very important to take everything away. What a nice shot on the jumping Yabby. Flash doesn't do too much, but Brokey's just still gonna have to stand his ground here. There's a chance he could get ahead of the play. Good peek into device, goes for the no scope, will get run down. Did everything he could to try and hold on to the AWP. Carrigan could be the next victim as well. Stown's not letting off the gas. He's coming. Bomb still yet to explode. Carrigan, this is a clear. Stown's ready for it. Nails a third frag. Call it five for Astralis, and that is in consecutive fashion. It's a really important hunt. Right? I understand a lot of the time we're talking about that, it doesn't feel like it makes the biggest of deals, but with Max lost bonus in play, two players staying alive and Rops with a save gun from the last round. That's two drop rifles plus Rops having enough with a 3400. That's a full rifle round again. Right. So what was going to be a massive threat... Oh, hold up. Not worried about the DHL drop. Don't you worry about that. 
give you uh, some knowledge of what's going on with the buy. That extra cash that I was just prefacing in Rops' hands has resulted in a brokey AWP. A tactical timeout has been called, the second of phase. They can just have this bogey orb, but they don't need to invest other than pistols around it, right? They can literally just run with this orb and some, some lighter upgrades, knowing they get max loss bonus in the next again. So this hmm. could have been a much scarier round, sure, if those guns got saved, but will Astralis be ready for an orb? And will it even matter? Yeah, well, they're not starting the same way. I say that with Red Smoke and uh, Donut this time. And they just waltz on out. They know there's not going to be too much util for the CTs, so they'll take the space for free. So Carrigan's banking that the AWP showing its presence would steer them in towards an A stack. Well, the AWP hasn't had that opportunity just yet. stair has been able to push up very aggressively towards Red. He'll be able to hear those rotations, and Brokey's already coming back over to address it, so the B bomb site is completely empty. As Yabby and Bro walk on, work on cave control. Brokey's tempted to show the AWP that Stairs done a lot to keep the CTs inquisitive of middle. Brokey will catch him. Yeah, okay. But he was heading B. That's what Brokey's saying. He was trying to get up to B. I don't have any smokes for B. Well, there's one. Yeah, well, bro. Oh, made on it. No vision, no chances. Device has found Carrigan with his, his AWP. As well give this one a go. They can throw everything in. Oh, we'll definitely give it a go now. It's not for advantage. Shot. Device. Oh, quite oh. one HP. A long range MP9 puts Device in the ground. It's up to Bro to save them now. Getting overwhelmed. They're pushing up long. Two from long side, one from short. It's Yabby and Bro side by side, fragging them up. And Brokey can't do this now. They're lining up. Double swing. Astralis, they recover. It got so awkward. <laughs> so scary. Sweaty for a moment, wasn't it? But that's two rounds I'd like to ascribe to Bro, this time with Yabby's support, but on that B site, he's been closing. How did it get awkward? So Robs gets a kill with a Deagle through the smoke, and then Device fluffs his lines in middle. Right. Those were the two kills that made it a 2v4 situation. I love the poise from Bro and Yabby late to go for the double swing, and great to see Bro getting involved and getting fired up. <laughs> this is a great game of counter so far. What phase got for us? The rifles are out, as you prophesied. Let's see. This is more of a standard round. B lane control, mid control. This is standard CS. Yeah. First chance we get to see Rain and his master mastery of the cave control. Brokey Donut. Wow, you're right. This might even be considered a standard setup. They haven't just gone all in. Oh my it God. hasn't just been a biff. Ooh. So a, a default spread, essentially. It only took us 10 rounds, Chad, but here we are. Frozen's just housekeeping red. That's the most passive way, I suppose, you can hold it when you've got Brokey spotting the mid-cross. There's the Molotov out. It's a good way for your A main player to show a bit more presence, isn't it? So it feels like a bit more of a threat, especially if you're clearing out that tree position and there's no intent behind it. Carrigan's hit the emergency button as far as the fragging department is concerned. His org has come out to play. Rain and Carrigan on Anubis yesterday. A miserable showing, one I'm sure that they'd love to forget. The corralling cave, the second smoke lands. Time starting to become the issue for the Danes. 35 seconds as they will have to pivot. Looks like they want to try and split over towards A or at least search for a pick. Rops is passive in Donut. Brokey playing from CT. They need to call a finish. Device, the pressure's on you. If Molly Pillar, they're running into the rain. He could be able to get one or two. Oh, it's comfortable for rain. Make it three. As well, locked out. It's Rain's round. It's Rain's domain. Get out of cave. Four kills from him, up to ten, and Phase now just making it a one-round game. What a great job of corralling where they wanted to finish. Smoke in a cave, smoke again. Time just being soaked off the clock, and then Rain chomps him up, <laughs> spits him out. Thanks for coming. Lovely wide step as well. You can see Device has had to try and take the shot. Didn't anticipate Rain to keep moving. 400 damage on the nose. Both down and Device throwing flashes. They really want to get Stare out middle. They'll get him across towards Tetris. It looks like they're going to go straight in towards the A play. Rops and Brokey. This yeah, is a strong was, setup. That was working for them, right? But they never had to run into Brokey. Is he really? 
Gonna swap through Donut, anticipating a gap. He is. And Robs will take first contact, but that means they're not ready for Brokey. They are now. He fires off the shot, but Stare braves the Donut smoke. In combination with the Vice, there's a man advantage. Stretching their legs into the site, having a good time. Frozen put on 40. Three of them congregating towards CT. If you push too far, you could go down to a down spray. Up and through. Off the flash. Oh my god, he goes so wide. Device will collect and Astralis one frag away. It's Yabby to close it. Seven T side rounds. Almost all of them in consecutive fashion. Six on the trot. A seventh for the cherry on top. Astralis losing their first map in this series, and now we find ourselves in their turf. And a convincing start, 70 rounds here on Ancient, which is their map pick. What are you saying, Chaddy B? The third of Inferno feels like it's just around the corner. This is a map where FaZe have shown struggles in recent times, even banning it. Not for that today. Four mid. Behind it, bro, just tap, tap, taps away. They're out, they're in his face. It's a lot of pressure on the bro. Wow! Couldn't track for a second. Messi. Down, down! Gets nothing! Empty handed with the dual barrette as they invested into him. And he couldn't connect the dots. It's Device and Yabby who make light work of a 2v4. Now with the bomb on the floor, and Yabby putting Robs there too. It all rain falls was. to rain. It's been spotted out. Device is going to clear him. Wow! How have they done that? Confident Counter-Strike on the pistol. Happy to take those fights. It looks messy from Yabby, but he copped a goosh from Rain on B lane as he was taking that mid jewel. So he had 180 degrees. Actually, that's 360, isn't it? Yeah. He had to so worry about everywhere. The bomb goes down. This is the clear. So Carrigan gets caught. Whoa. Yabby nailing headshots. And Device the same. No yeah. doubt about that. They're looking in it to win it. They want to take us to three. And the pistol, of a key indicator. In the absence of the plant, face stomach and eco. Ops invested. P250. Oh, sorry. Do excuse me. And Brokey has a Zeus, all right? What am I saying? What am I saying? Twelve hundred bucks. Nice cash for the rest of this one. Oh, a nade right at his nose. Four HP is ringing. Oh. And he still gets it with the P250. <laughs> Didn't get the sound cue, I suppose. Lovely. Stan wanted to upgrade anyway. Yeah, yeah, it was all part of the master plan. Didn't want to carry that MP9 through. Oh, there will be two MP9s, one for Bro, one for Stair. AK's now invested by Maus. By Mouse, this HUD is killing me, man. You've got. I have Mouse versus no, Monty as you my had logo. You Monty on my versus HUD. Mouse. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's that's, kind of killing me here. Does, does it, what happens when you refresh it? You know why I think this is happening? Because Bro is on one side. Because that's why we get the Frozen. Monty logo and Frozen on the other. And it just freaked out. Yeah, might have to restart that HUD. Yeah. Well, we can we can swap seats. Yeah, that could be cool. They left the bomb in spawn chat. What does that tell you? It tells me that they're not doing anything fast. Or they are brain farting. I forgot the bomb. Yeah. No, I, think, uh, <laughs> I think your first assumption, bang on. Okay, cool. 
So allowing Astralis to rifle through their util. Would you say this is becoming more meta in the sense that T's are, are, are more happy to concede early lane? Well, yeah, because I, I think FaZe are one of the teams who have some good util to go for the retake. They're able to do smokes and flashes from outside of the doors in combination. They're actually going to try and pipe mainly through mid, so I would expect to see at least a red smoke, maybe a donut smoke as well for good measure, but they have to take fights on both fronts. Stown's done well to avoid the flashbangs. Bro's taking one down. Even trades. It's Stown with heavy impact. It's oh. Brokey! Sprays them down. He's an absolute monster on the rifles, is Brokey. Another AK-3K from Brokey. How many of these is he going to get? Just keep counting them. Well, Stair, I think he'll give this one a look. Currently doesn't have a kit. Finds a rifle upgrade. And has a very good time in that bomb. Being loose. Slight issue. The T smoke indicates that Rops is crossing now, so he's a bit of ahead of the play. By getting into cave, and with Brokey towards alongside, it's if Rops goes for the plant, which he will eventually have to go for. Is he covered? He, oh, he's banged! He's stuck out! Ten seconds. Like a sore thumb! Is this another clutch for Astralis? It certainly is! Stairs turn in the sunshine! First bro, now Stair. Astralis, they are making FaZe sweat. Broke, he did such a good job with that triple kill on the AK, but Stair actually just pieced the entire round together. He knew that the smoke was being thrown lane. You see, he didn't even acknowledge it. He said, well, I know exactly what you're getting up to. You needed to get the bomb. You needed to make it towards the site. I just need to find Brokey. And then you see that Molly come in deep. You assume, because the most powerful position you'd play for with early site is deep towards the death cube. You isolate the... the, the Rops essentially, by planning so open, gave him that one. Brokey. Brokey's mad. Brokey's pissed, and he's been punished. You try to change the pace on us, that's an early first blood. That was the only rifle. This is falling apart. Stair just peppers them with some spam. Carrigan next victim. And one by one, they are just torn out of this round. The choice of plant spot as well from Rob's. That, yeah, that's what I was trying to highlight. That's where my head's going. But th th I think th the thing is, his biggest issue is the flank at that point, I guess, right? Cave was always susceptible. I, I guess he'd be thought, if he was, oh, I don't yeah. know, I don't know. I, yeah. Because there is a safe plant for long side behind the concrete pillar. He was exposed, got wall banged, and, and they lose the round because of it. Great play from Stair. Take nothing away from him. Door smoke, here we go. Is there anything left from FaZe, or will this be kind of Astralis returning to uh, their dominant ways? Oh, Frozen. Frozen, white screen. In the smoke. And pushing into Stair. It's a big fight. Yabby built upon it. Oh, dear. Rain gives them something to hold on to. Rob's nearly found Yabby there. Oh, he's pushing. Rain should have him. Good work. Oh, pushing. Yeah, he's behind two of them. How has he gone away with this? How has he gone away? He just slips, evaporates. They have no idea where he's gone. And now Broken Prophet. He takes down Rob. This could go horribly wrong. Yeah, he's not coming back. He's actually going around the world to the wrong side. Okay, well, you've got device towards the A side. He's but actually he's stopped acknowledging away. Donut. They're noisy. They're so noisy. Brokey and Rain. Let's see what this brain trust can conjure up. has no idea. They, they think it's B. They've misplayed this. Well, now... Wait, yeah. They still think it's B. They'll work it out now. Well, Hello. they should. Hello. It's... Boys, the, the bomb's not ticking. Somebody make the call. Um, this is unheard of. <laughs> now it's, the penny's dropped. The penny has dropped. And so is Brokey! <laughs> oh, no! Rain, what still, can you do? Still no kit. Ahead of the play. Messi spray. That has gone horribly wrong for FaZe. Oh. That could have been ugly as all hell. Oh. Imagine if they kept clearing the site for moments longer. Oh, my gosh. Deary, okay. Well, this is the dominant Astralis that we had in the group stage. Yeah, they're back. They're back in full force. And they are just turning it mid and B lane into deathmatch with utility. Everyone's least favorite type of deathmatch, actually. <laughs> Oof, that had to be a really clean headshot there from Rain, yeah. Great map from Bro, has to be said. At 1v4, he's continued the impact. 17 kills in total. Smile, Eddie. Yeah, what else can you do? Okay. Well, FaZe, it's a long road back into ancient Inferno. Just a single round away for Astralis here. And they've actually sent a device to be responsible solely for the A site. The orb couldn't be a better weapon for the job.
The only way to force him off this angle is a good well-placed flashbang. It doesn't know. I don't. Doesn't look like Robs is going to do that. Device throwing util, almost kind of role-playing, cosplaying as a rifler. I wonder if the round call was just to get a main control, or if they plan to finish. Second B-door smoke on top of the first. Stown has an extra as well. Oh, bro, very lucky to be alive. One HP. Feels like he has to get out of there. So H is to harass this park of the bus from FaZe. ET smoke achieves nothing. That smoke, however. Ooh, could have led to Carrigan getting out. Stair's fighting. Yeah, only for a minute. Stair one, make it two. Stair just again. Locks down middle. He's got Bro in support. Bro with one HP. Stair searching. Brokey loves that smoke. Works his magic around it. Bombs loose in middle. Bro good for the trade, despite that one HP. If Robs can find him, that gives him some room. Covering the bomb. Some support. Absent now. Rain, big one. Robs and Rain. Turn this round around. Elevated. Oh, what a <laughs> shot! That's a device special right there. Oh, Yabby can stop this. Just needs to walk back up ramp. This is it. This is the map. Certainly looks like it. The smoke maybe obscures. The immediate rundown, Yavi, what have you got for us? He's going to spam him away. Robs is down. The round is won. We're going the distance, folks. Dominant from Astralis. And Inferno awaits. They asked the question, how would they respond after losing their first map at IEM Chengdu? Well, they responded in kind, a dominant victory.